Hello and welcome back to our Microtech hardware series. In this video, as the seventh episode of this set of introductory tutorials, we'll be going over four industry-grade and very powerful Microtech Ethernet routers that are quite similar to each other in looks and performance. They are the four CCR1036 routers priced at $995 to $1,295. The CCR1036 family of Ethernet routers, as we just mentioned, are quite similar to each other. We first have the two CCR1036 12G4S and CCR1036 8G2S+. The other two CCR1036 routers are identical both in looks and performance to each of the two devices above, but have the letters EM at the end of their names and product codes, on which we'll elaborate right now. As mentioned in our previous session, the letters CCR in the product codes of these devices stand for Cloud Core Router, and the two digits on the left of the number that follows, that is 36, show the CPU core count on all four devices. For the CCR 1036 12G4S, the characters 12G indicate that this device has a set of 12 1 gigabit Ethernet ports, and the 4S at the end tell us that this device comes with four 1 gigabit SFB ports. As for the CCR1036 8G2S Plus, the characters 8G indicate that this router has eight 1 gigabit Ethernet ports, and the characters 2S Plus at the end show that it also possesses two SFB Plus ports. For the other two devices, their names and product codes are the repetition of each of the two previous devices, and they only bear the added characters EM at the end. EM stands for extended memory, meaning that these two devices with EM at the end of their product codes come with twice the RAM size of the first two devices. In terms of appearance, the CCR 1036 12G4S and its EM version come with four SFB ports, 12 gigabit Ethernet ports, a serial console, a type A USB port, and an LCD. The CCR1036 8G2S Plus, however, together with its extended memory version, comes with two SFB Plus ports, a micro SD memory card slot, eight gigabit Ethernet ports, a serial console, a type A USB, and an LCD. From the back, all four devices look quite similar, and they each come with two integrated power supplies that gives you a reliable power failover option, as well as two active cooling fans. Concerning device specifications, as mentioned before, each of the two CCR1036 routers have almost identical specifications with their EM versions, with the only difference being the double RAM size of each EM version. As a result, We'll just resort to comparing the CCR1036 12G4S with the CCR1036 8G2S Plus to go over their differences. The very first difference, of course, lies in the Ethernet port arrangement of these two devices. One comes with 12 Ethernet ports, while the other has 8. Their AC power input range, as well as their 36 core 1.2 GHz CPUs, are completely identical. They have the same dimensions and both come with two active cooling fans, IP20 International Protection Code, as well as about 200,000 hours of lifetime at 25 degrees Celsius. Also, each device comes with one Type A USB port and a max USB current of 1 ampere. However, the CCR1036 8G2S Plus has a higher power consumption and also comes with a micro SD memory card slot that enables users to extend its local storage capacity. Moving further down the table, we can see that the storage capacity of both devices can be greatly increased thanks to the one onboard M2 PCI Express slot that is available on the router board of each device. Both routers come with a level 6 router OS license, and they also support SFB DDMI. However, the CCR1036 12G4S has four SFB ports, while the CCR1036 8G2S Plus comes with two SFB Plus ports. Moreover, 
Both of these two devices have RJ45 serial console ports, 4 GB of RAM, and 1 GB local storage. Just to clarify, if we put the two CCR1036EM versions next to each other, the specifications table would look exactly like this, and the only difference would be the fact that the EM versions come with a RAM size of 8 GB instead of 4. By referring to the revised block diagram of the CCR1036 12G4S, you can see that all 12 Ethernet ports, together with all 4 SFB ports, and the rest of the device's parts and peripherals are directly connected to the CPU. Such a design enables the CPU to use all of its cores and processing capacity for all active ports at any given time. Moreover, you have the dual power supply in the corner that enables the power failover feature for this hardware. As for the CCR1036 HG2S Plus, the same situation applies, with all Ethernet and SFB Plus ports directly connected to the CPU, which is supported likewise with an integrated dual power supply. We also recommend that you refer to the SFB compatibility table to find out about the SFB modules and equipment that are suitable to use with these Ethernet routers. As for performance test results, as always, packet sizes, device modes, and router configurations are the variables that determine what throughput your hardware yields. As shown in this table, the CCR1036 12G4S gives us a maximum of almost 16 gigabytes per second, which of course is divided between all active ports of this device at the time of usage. With regard to its traffic encryption and IPsec test results, the highest throughput that is again determined by packet sizes, tunnel modes, and encryption configurations is a bit more than 10 gigabytes. In comparison, the CCR1036 8G2S Plus, thanks to its pair of 10 gigabit SFB Plus ports, has a maximum throughput of more than 27.5 gigabytes per second, while its IPsec test results are the same as those of the CCR1036 12G4S. As always, since each device comes with different features, throughputs, and usages, we recommend that you start all network planning and management by asking five of the most fundamental network planning questions, starting with the intended type of network usage, approximate number of simultaneous active users, estimated number of packets and their sizes, the ISP provided bandwidth, and the need of using hardware acceleration features and encrypting traffic. The industries that can benefit from the CCR1036 family of Ethernet routers include university and college campuses that may have a high number of simultaneously active users on their network. The same situation applies to managed IT service providers that are serving a large number of customers. ISPs and WISPs with large numbers of users are two of the main customers of CCR1036 routers. They can use these devices in their core network use them as edge routers for firewall security, or put them to use for authentication, encryption, or accounting in the case of services such as point-to-point -point tunneling protocol. Data centers can use this series of Ethernet routers within their networks since they are some of the most suitable devices for working with dynamic routing protocols such as BGP and OSPF. Government buildings and relevant governmental organizations, as well as manufacturers and system integrators that work with large amounts of data and require traffic encryption as a pivotal feature of their daily packet transmissions, can use these routers to their advantage. Also, different types of VPNs can benefit these sectors and industries by establishing secure communication tunnels between different offices and locations. Hotels, healthcare centers, and surveillance systems can also put these Ethernet routers to great use since, apart from their maximum uptime and power failover features, they are highly suitable to establish secure tunnels between different business sites and branches and create easy and reliable means of communication for remote employees. The agricultural industry and transportation systems are other clients of these cloud core routers as they are highly efficient for establishing site-to-site -site VPNs 
and creating remote access between different locations. As for networking solutions and different network tasks, the CCR1036 routers are the most suitable devices for establishing centralized and site-to-site -site VPNs, especially for chain businesses or enterprises with different offices or branches. Given the additional onboard M2 PCI Express slot on each device, the CCR1036 devices can be equipped with a notable storage capacity that makes them quite useful for radius server management and AAA tasks as well as network monitoring. Also, the CCR1036 routers can transmit from around 21 million to about 41 million packets per second, which is a notable packet transmission rate and quite suitable for establishing efficient firewall security measures that can protect your network against online threats such as DDoS attacks. And finally, heavy routing protocols such as BGP and OSPF are other solutions that can be easily conducted and managed using the CCR1036 family of Ethernet routers. Okay everyone, so this is the end of another episode of our Microtech Hardware series. Thank you very much for watching. In case you have any feedbacks or suggestions, make sure you leave us a comment so we can keep in touch. Also, in our next video, We'll be reviewing the Microtech CCR 1072 1G 8S Plus, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and do not miss that tutorial. Until then, stay safe and take care.